Checking in with the West Ohio Food Bank, and this time of year is busy for them. Joining me today, he is the Communication and Public Relations Manager with West Ohio Food Bank, Jason Alders, and thanks for coming today. Thanks for having us, Holly. You guys are busy all the time, so I really shouldn't have said it's a busy time of year, but, you know, in different respects, there are different cycles of being busy, and we just got off Thanksgiving, but yet Christmas is another time where you really want to make sure people have enough food and family gatherings and you know that kind of thing right absolutely the awareness always heightens uh, at holiday time holiday season and uh, hence our latest bailing campaign specifically aimed at Thanksgiving and now as we switch toward the Christmas season has really been great want to thank everyone who's taken time and you know given their money given their resources to us and and please keep those donations coming in now have, be patient with us we're trying to keep up as as much as we can but we really appreciate the support Mm -hmm. I think we've heard in the past where, you know, giving money, monetary donations is really helpful because you guys have better buying power. But are you still looking for those like food drives too, where people bring in canned food and other kind of items? Absolutely. Uh, we've had several schools, businesses, organizations contact us, say, hey, we want to get our employees involved by bringing in non-perishable items. Even a big one is personal hygiene items. Okay. So we just uh, did one of those with Reineke Nissan. I know they were in to talk about that and had a big giveaway and I think over 400 pounds of personal hygiene items were collected and so we're always looking at opportunities that we can supply you with the big barrels the big donating barrels and then we can also uh, make arrangements to pick those up once those are all filled up so we have several of those going on right now as well you have those barrels you just don't have to use them this time of year either I mean when the new year arrives and throughout the year kind of just think of you guys constantly because you have found it's a constant flow a constant need in our area no question about it uh, anytime anybody wants to do something like that to give back to their community um, please get a hold of us uh, go to the website wofb.org the information is there all the contact information everything you need to find out about doing one of those mm -hmm. yeah because it's almost one of those situations you can never have enough right because yeah. there's somebody out there in one of your counties because you serve many counties not just Allen that, that, that there is the need that people need the help yeah, there's no question about that. And again, uh, one of the big things why we look forward to uh, getting personal hygiene items is that because those that get benefits or specifically SNAP benefits are not allowed to use their benefits on getting those sort of items. So we'll go ahead and take those and then distribute those to our different pantries and agencies mm -hmm. so they can help those in the outlying areas as well. Right, yeah. Everybody needs to eat, but you also need you know, laundry detergent, toothpaste, right. toothbrushes, that kind of stuff. It's, yep. it's important, all that kind of stuff. Stuff. Yeah, no, yeah, it really is. All right, so we're Christmas is coming, and you guys have a, a kind of, I don't want to say fun, but this is a neat distribution that you have coming up, so tell us more. Yeah, um, a couple of years back, I know there, there have been some organizations that uh, wanted to do a dinner or a lunch on Christmas Eve, and of course, COVID hit, the pandemic hit, and kind of delayed a lot of things, and so last year, we got wind that it wasn't going to happen, so we decided, hey, we at the food bank can get this food, get the donations, get the volunteers. We have the facility on East Kibbe Street, so let's go ahead and do a dinner. And it was very successful last year. I think we handed out over 1,200 ham dinners. Wow. And we're planning on 1,700 this Christmas Eve. And again, we're going to do it on Christmas Eve morning from 9 to 11. It's going to work just like you would come for a distribution. You enter on the west side and exit on the east side. Go right into our back lot. You'll drive through. We're still looking for volunteers. So if you want to help us out for a few hours on Christmas Eve morning, please get a hold of us. Let us know. You can uh, simply greet folks as they come through. You can hand out meals. They're going to be to go, kind of carry out, ready to heat and eat sort of ham dinner meals. All right. So that'd be very helpful. And so people can arrive. And like you said, you're expecting a lot. Also, Santa's going to be there for the kids, too. I think uh, he and Mrs. Maybe. Claus will be able to take some time out of their busy schedule. We'll do some pictures on the spot. We'll be able to print those off for you. So if you want to bring the kids out, please do so. All right. What a neat thing, a free Christmas Eve ham dinner. Thanks for coming today. Thank you. All right. Don't go away. New Edition continues in a moment.